Hello, I am starting an assignment for you. It's there are it's a three part infographic assignment for our novel A Long Walk to Water. Uh, part one will be where you pick your character for your infographic project and you will choose between Naya or Salva and whichever one you choose you will highlight. So if you were to pick Salva you can highlight in blue or whatever color you want to highlight, it doesn't matter. Or if you want to pick Naya as your character. And you may want to go through and look at the characters before you choose. But you will um, choose this according to, uh, and once you choose your character, that will be your focus for your infographic. Now, for today's activity, you will be brainstorming and responding to the following questions and topics about the character you are choosing to represent in your infographic project from a long walk to water. This assignment will be turned in and count as a daily grade. Now this one is, be sure to complete each question and topic by responding with specific and detailed information. You will include all of this brainstorm information to help you create your infographic. Now, it says the final project is due 11-4. That is correct. But this brainstorm information is due the day after it's assigned because it's like a mini assignment within your assignment. So it says here, here are your questions. Give the title and author of the novel. Of course, you'll type in A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. And then what is the author's purpose for writing the novel? And then you will just answer it over here. Um, the author's purpose, and you just need to go back if you don't remember the author's purpose for things like um, to persuade, to inform, to entertain, etc. So go back and look at those and figure out which one applies to this novel. And then why do you think Linda Sue Park wanted to write this novel? You'll answer that. What character did you choose? What tribe is your character from? So this is where you would type in your character that you chose, either Naya or Salva, and tell me their tribe. Um, remember, these things will all be included on your um, right, on your infographic project. List character traits for the character you chose. Give things like their age, their gender, their physical descriptions. Now, character traits also includes their actions and behaviors, their thoughts, their emotions, their dialogue. So I want you to include something the character said, like give specific words, phrases, lines from the novel that would define who the character is. So don't so pick some meaningful dialogue or phrases or thoughts that your character used that would really set them apart from other characters. What is the setting for your character? Identify two main settings for your character. Give specific details that describe each setting as it is written in the novel. So every time you're looking for this, you're going back to look for detailed information, which is why I was wanting you to annotate as you read the novel. And you will um, give what we call text evidence and include time period, the country, the weather, the climate. There are a lot of things that include setting. Uh, what are the conflicts or problems faced by your character during the novel? And give and explain at least two. And make sure you identify, like if you say, for instance, man versus nature, then you need to explain the man versus nature would be um, when the character um let's just uh, let's just say the character um Naya's little sister was walking to get water with her sister and uh, what are the problems she encountered she was too young and she got sick and she got worms and and so anyway she had to go get medical treatment um that's what i mean by conflicts give like men verses and then explain the conflict now, what is the climate or turning point of your character in the novel? So once you, you're going to tell what event or situation changes things for the character. So when the character is struggling and the plot is building, climax is when whatever the problem is, is solved. And give this specific moment as it happens in the novel. And again, go back and look for text evidence for these answers. What is the resolution or outcome for your character situation? How are the conflicts or problems solved? Give specific details. So um, you definitely want to go back and look at like what's going on here. Explain how the resolutions changed the problems in the story. Identify a theme for the story in regard to the character you chose. Theme is always written as a lesson learned or 
a moral or a universal truth learned. Um, identify and share two examples of figurative language, uh, such as imagery, simile, metaphor, personification, etc. From the novel, explain the meaning. Um, for example, personification, there was only heat, the sun already baked in the air. So see how I identified what it is, and then I wrote the exact sentence how it occurred, that there was only heat, the sun already baked in the air, even though it was long before noon. And then I explained what it meant, the meaning. This explains that the climate was extremely hot because the sun was baking the air, and the sun does not bake. People do. Um... And then a slide six for um, our figurative language. I'll explain that more in a minute, but says see slide six. I'll show you what that is in just a minute. Uh, then we have reflection. What are your feelings about the novel? Give two specific um, reasons why you feel this way. And for, um, for figurative language, pages to help you find examples of figurative language in a long walk to water. These these are all pages that include figurative language. There certainly could be other pages that you find, and that's okay. But And you may have marked some as you were annotating your novel. That's why we annotate, so we can go back to areas that we find. But alliteration, simile, personification, hyperbole, idiom, metaphor, onomatopoeia, those are some examples of the figurative language you will be looking for, and you need two examples of that. Once you finish all of this, you will turn this in for to be graded and then you'll be ready for part two and the next video will be about part two. I look forward to seeing your work.